Hey, welcome back people. Welcome to another video. If you're looking to create a red bubble t-shirt shop, then I'm gonna show you how to set it up in this video right here. Check it out. This is my first t-shirt that I created on red bubble right here. It says through Prime, be real on it right here. And it came out pretty good. If you take a look at this quality right here, and this is why I love red bubble. It comes out pretty good. But like I said, I'm gonna show you how to set up a red bubble shop. And why should you set up one? Well, if you're running any kind of social media platform, if you're on YouTube, on Instagram, then you should set up a shop to sell shirts or you know, hoodies, anything that you want on here. And it's super simple to do and design. It's totally free. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up right now. So here's the process. I'll show you how to set up this Redbubble account. It's totally free. And then I'll design a shirt right here using this free program and I'll upload it to Redbubble and I'll show you how to set it all up. And then in the end, I'll give you my final review of why I chose Redbubble over Teespring or anything else. And yeah, that's the deal. So let's get on with the show. So right now I'll switch to my full screen so you can see everything in detail starting now. Sorry if you guys can hear my fan in the background. It's super hot in SoCal right now. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to redbubble.com, sign up for a free account, it's totally free. Just click on sign up. And then you're gonna go down here to account settings. You can edit your profile right here, but the thing that we wanna edit is the payment details right here. So click on this link, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then you're gonna see getting paid. And right here, you wanna verify your PayPal account. So I use my PayPal for this. You just gotta click on the PayPal link, and then you'll step through the process of signing into your PayPal, verifying it, and you're gonna link it to this Redbubble account here, and then save changes. After you save changes, go ahead and head to Photopia right here. This website called Photopia. Now I use the same website for my Teespring shop and I love this program, it's totally free. It's an online uh, photo editor program right here and it looks exactly like Photoshop. So I'm gonna design a shirt on this Photopia website right here. I'll show you how to export it and then we're gonna bring it into Redbubble, set up that item and make it live. All right, so let's do this. All right, so to create a project file, you can click on new project right here, or you can also go to file and new, all right? And right here, I'll just call it red bubble RB shirt. And for the dimensions, you can look up red bubble image dimensions right here. You can Google this and it's right on their website right here. And it has all of the dimensions that you want to see for every kind of print that you want to do, uh, whether you're doing posters, frames, postcards. But what we're going to do in this one is the apparel right here. And I'm going to create a 2400 by 3200 pixel size. So let's go back here, 2400 by 3200. And take a look at this right side right here. It's going to change. Watch that. Look at that. And I love how it gives us all of these different designs that we can use and it has the fonts with them. So you can choose one of those if you want, but first change this DPI right here. This is very important. I like to change it to 300. Why do you want to change it to this? Because when they actually print it on their shirts, you want it to be super clear uh, quality. So you have to have it at 300 or more. Uh, if you have it at not 72 where it defaulted to, you know, that's not good. It's super low quality. So you have to have this really high. 300 is what I see everyone do. So it changed my width when I updated the DPI. So I'm gonna have to change this back here to, what was it, 2400 by 3200. So that's what we want right here. So click on create, or like I said, you can click one of these right here. Uh, also, I like to change this to transparent background here, and I'll show you why. So you know what? Yeah, let's use one of these right here. I'm gonna click on this design here, and it's gonna load this for me. See that, it loaded it up. And it loaded all of the stuff right here. Here's the wake me up font right here. See, I can make it disappear or show with this eyeball right here. Uh, here's the text below it. It's called before we go right there. So I can take those out if I want. And uh, this is the image. Oh, that's a strip around it, all right? And then this is the background, see? If I remove all of that, this is called the transparent background right here. So I have my own design. So I can go ahead and just click on this background. I can right click on it and say delete. So I don't want that design. I can delete the strip as well. Now I have my own design that I'm gonna do right now that I'm gonna show you guys. It's called Laser Kittens. All you gotta do is get your design, click on it and drag it into your workspace right here and just drop it in. Look at that. It just drops it right into here and it, it creates this vector image right here or it creates a smart object right here. And uh, if you hold shift and you click on this um, corner right here, it's going to allow you to resize it. You click and drag it because I want to resize it to the size of my shirt here. This is my shirt size right here that I'm going to use. So then I click enter on that and then I can put text in here. Here's the wake me up font. I can drag this up here. And if you don't want to use this font, Look on this left side right here. I'm going to click on this text symbol, the T. 
And here is the text that it's using here, right here. This is the font that it's using. So what's cool with this Photopia is it gives you so many different fonts. It shows you how to look, how it looks like right here. So I'll just use the same font right here and you can change the size of it if you want. I'll make it like, you know, 600 return. Well, that's kind of big right there. It's way too big. All right, let's make it 300. Um, let's make it 200. Okay, so with the text tool, I'm gonna replace this text here. I'm gonna highlight it and say, my laser kittens will, let's drag this right here. It's a little bit too big still. Let's make this smaller. Let's make it like 150. And then I'll create another text right here. If I just click right there, I can create a text. And let's say, destroy you. I can make this larger as well. Also show you guys one more thing about this image that we dragged in right here, this kitten image. If you look to the right right here, we're gonna click on this layer right here, right? This is called a smart object uh, image layer. So double click on this right here. See, it goes into that uh, image that we dragged into. And now I can actually edit this however I want. I click down here, I can mess with the saturation if I want. Let's say you wanna do a black and white photo. See, I made it black and white right there. And if I click on this eyeball, see? Here's the saturation layer. Now I can go to file and save smart object right here. I'm gonna save that and guess what? Look, when I click back on my other template, see how it updated it? So these are, this is where you edit it in this smart object. Here, watch, I'll remove it. I'll do save smart object again. And I go back, there it is. It updates our main project with it. And then you just close this out when you're finished. So that's how you do that. But I really suggest going into the smart object and touching up your image that you work with. You know, like um, go to filter and you wanna sharpen it. You know, you wanna just touch it up and make it look nice. And then save that, close it up and boom, it's in our main project. All right guys, so I went ahead and finished this up and I chose the different font right here. My laser kittens will destroy you. And I wanna show you guys right here, I created another layer back here with a black background. And if I click on the eyeball here, see, it shows how it looks like. So if you want to imagine this behind a black t-shirt or white t-shirt, anything like that, then you have to create a layer behind here. But when you export this, you're going to have to uncheck that because we want this to be transparent. So I'm going to go to export this right now. This is my final image right here. So I'll go to file, export as PNG. This is what you want to export it as, right guys, PNG. It's going to say all this, but just click save. And then also go ahead and go to file and save as PSD because this is our workspace project. And you can always come back to this website, pop in this PSD file, and I'll have all of these saved for you where you can edit and work on it again. All right, now let's go back to Redbubble. I'm gonna go up to my account here. And then you see this right here, add new work. So I'm gonna add a new work. I'm gonna upload my new work right here. And here it is, it's uploading the laser kitten um, image that I just created, upload complete. And this is why I love uh, Redbubble right here. It's going to add it to all of these different products that I want to have it for. And anything that I don't want, I can just disable it. If I want it enabled, I can enable it. And look at all of these different things that uh, it added to. And that's the difference with this and Teespring that I noticed. Teespring was so difficult. Anytime I uh, re-edit my image or my item, I had to delete it and create it all over again and it took so long. This one I can just keep on editing it um, and it just adds to all of these different items and products for me. All right, so after I add that, I have to add a title to it. So I'm just gonna call it Laser Kittens. Then, you know, you tag this up with like, um, you know, these are just keywords that you want. Whatever people are searching for, it's kind of like YouTube, if they're searching for keywords. I can put also put laser kins if um, people are searching for that. So I'll finish that up later and then you can add your description right here. My laser kittens will destroy you. So now I'm gonna edit uh, this shirt right here. I noticed that this shirt is very popular for everyone to buy. So I'm gonna edit this and I can put it behind a black background if I want right here. And look at this right here, this is cool. You can resize this to however big you want. I'll keep it at 100 right now and I'll just realign it. And then if you click right here, align horizontally and vertically if you want. And just, it puts it perfectly on the shirt for you. But I like to move it down a little bit like this, just right near the armpit area. That's where I like to have the shirts at. 
then I'll align it horizontally and uh, also enable some of these kids clothes too because these are cute cats that uh, you know parents might want to buy for their kids and then I apply changes right here and there it is my first one right here is done and then I'll just do all of these right here okay so I went ahead and finished all of this up here I have all of my shirts ready scroll down here I have a couple other stuff too the pillows uh, the coffee mugs right here those are pretty good some of these drawstring bags so I'm gonna go all the way down here and check everything that you need is this mature content no all right so check everything that you need and then save your work now it's gonna process it right here it's gonna get my item ready to be listed on the shop and then it's gonna go live there we go guys processing complete now it's gonna generate all of the images for me right here on to the products Scroll down here, look at that. It has all of these different ones that you can see how it looks like, the face masks, um, some hoodies, long sleeves, t-shirts. The t-shirts are the most popular, I wanna say. And here's another cool thing. If you click on this right here and you say download images, you can save uh, these images here, you know, or download it. And you can use this for, you know, Instagram, post anywhere that you want, use it to promote your products. So yeah guys, that completes this tutorial on how to create a red bubble shop and how to create your shirts, t-shirts, anything you want, hoodies. They have so many things on here that you can create and promote. And like I said, if you're on YouTube or Instagram, you should be creating a red bubble shop to you know promote your product to sell. I've already sold a few on my shop and I wanna say it's way better than Teespring that I was using right here, Teespring. And guys, I use Teespring here to create a shop as well for my t-shirt designs. And I wanna say the layout on here is horrible. I had such a hard time using this thing. I had to delete my products a lot, uh, recreate it. And I didn't really get any sales on here, but I did get a couple of sales on Redbubble. So I wanna say they promote your shirts and your products way better on Redbubble. Uh, the printout came w out way better too, you know, as you see in my t-shirt here that I bought from Redbubble. And also the shirts, they have very good quality shirts. I bought the slim uh, fitted shirt and it fits great. And that's going to do it for this video today, guys. I showed you how to set up your own Redbubble shop so you can start making money right away. All you need is some imagination and some design skills. Everything is going to be in the description down below. If you want to support this channel and buy a shirt or something, go browse through my products. And guys, stay tuned for the next few videos. Um, I did a whole new room makeover, so I'm going to show you guys that in the next video with some cool stuff in here. And so, yeah, stay tuned for that. Until next time, peace.